Conflicts of interest have been a big issue revolving Donald Trump. Many ethics watchdogs raised the concern that Trump wouldn't stay away from his businesses after becoming president. On Friday, the Miami New Times released a report that revealed that Trump has been pocketing money from law enforcement organizations who have been holding expensive events at his golf resorts. Conflicts of interest have been a big issue revolving Donald Trump. Many ethics watchdogs raised the concern that Trump wouldn't stay away from his businesses after becoming president. On Friday, the Miami New Times released a report that revealed that Trump has been pocketing money from law enforcement organizations who have been holding expensive events at his golf resorts. In the past year, Donald Trump's golf resort in Doral has lost a whopping $26 million in value, the New Times reported. But a few types of organizations still routinely host events at Trump National Doral Miami, Republican political campaigns, opportunistic trade groups, and, for whatever reason, police unions and associations. This past weekend, the Leo Foundation, an organization that fundraises for police officers in Miami-Dade County, held its annual awards ceremony at the Doral Golf Resort. Last month, the Hispanic Police Officers Association threw a Valentine's Day gala there, the New Times noted. The Dade County Police Benevolent Association, the largest police union in the county, has also booked Trump National Doral for its annual awards gala in May. Critics say the setup gives the appearance of pay for play, and sometimes the arrangement seems pretty transparent, the New Times added. Although the police groups don't have such a blatant financial interest in booking events at Trump's hotel, the arrangement is worth noting given the president's statements about police brutality and his fraught relationship with law enforcement. Trump went as far as to record a video message for the Palm Beach Police Foundation, which was holding a gala at Mar-a-Lago, 